sound loop isolator here. Eliminates noise, hum, and alternator whine. I'll go take a video in the car. I'll show you what the sound what it sounds like and the before and after. Boss Audio Systems. Problem is I had uh, just the subwoofers. I never had the issue. And as soon as I put the second amp in, it started. And to be honest, it's quite annoying. And when I use Bluetooth on the phone, people say they can hear it on the other end. And So I went ahead and bought this and see if we can uh, eliminate some of the noise. So let's get this open and go test it out. Okay, so I'm here in the car and I'll start it so you can hopefully hear the noise that the alternator whine and stuff like that. You could probably already hear it. When I cut power to the stereo, it stopped. And now it's back. Don't mind the dings. See if you can hear it. I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear it, but. When I accelerate, I don't know if you hear that whining noise. That's coming from the alternator. So that's what this ground loop isolator is supposed to fix. So let's go put it in and see if it actually did anything. So I installed it just to back here just to test it out. If it works, I'll go put it behind the deck like it's supposed to be. Because it's supposed to be plugged into the stereo itself. But there's no use in ripping it apart if it's not going to work. So these are the wires coming from the stereo. I put it in and then it goes into my crossover goes out to the amps the subwoofers didn't have an issue it was just the speakers so let's see if this actually did something all right we're back in here so let's see if uh see if it did anything oh yeah sounds like it worked well, let's find out hold on whoa it made some funky noise for a second but Maybe it had to warm up. It doesn't have the wind anymore, but it has a weird noise to it now. I don't know if it's gonna affect the sound quality of the actual stereo. Okay, so I actually decided to plug a USB in with some music uncopyrighted music so i can uh show you guys the before and after so this is without it oh you Not much going on. If you turn it down, you can hear it. The whining. I don't know how well you guys can hear it, but it's there. Let me go plug it back in and I'll. Yeah, nothing now. There's no more whine. I love it. I'm very happy. And then turn the volume back up. It was. It's actually debatable for me if it sounds clearer. It might even sound clearer than with this than without it. The bass slaps on this song for some reason. This is only at 10. The bass up. for a drive in a bit and hear the song and I actually, this is one of my YouTube background songs that's not copyrighted so I can post money because if you put music in the video that's copyrighted then you don't make any money off of it even if you're not using it for any sort of purpose other than like background noise or something same thing like if you have music playing in the background of your video it might get copyrighted so I like to use some of this free stuff from YouTube so that they, uh, you know, they don't uh, demonetize me. Anyway, so uh, yeah, it's working great. 
If you go watch my previous one of my previous videos, me installing the stereo, you can see how to take the deck out, uh, get in there, so I can get behind there and install this actually back there somewhere in this in the dash, so that it's in there and it's not an excess wire looking weird back there. And I know the wires are loose and stuff like that. I still have to go in and tuck them. I'm waiting for a warm day. We had a pretty cold spell come through here the past couple of weeks, so. I don't feel like freezing my butt off. I can't really sit outside. Oh, I just realized that. So yeah, you can check out that video, the stereo. I know the wires are all messed up back there. I still have to do a wire tuck. It's been very cold here. I can't really last more than 20 minutes or so outside without freezing. So yeah um that's that for the the ground loop isolator i'm gonna install it in the back of there one day probably after and then i'm gonna do the dash cam now and the horn i don't think i'm gonna do today but depending on how much time i have between all the videos after all the editing we'll see maybe i'll put all three in one i doubt it because I feel like the horn's going to be a little more work. But this dash cam should be this dash cam should be fairly easy to do. So let's go unbox the dash cam and get that in. Hey, so after recording, I realized that there's a quite a bit of footage for all of this and I don't want to make it too long and boring, so I decided to actually split it up into separate videos. So um Thanks for watching on this uh, video with the Boss Audio uh, ground loop isolator. Um, and stay tuned because I'll be posting the dash cam video shortly after this. And then I should be recording and posting the video of the horn installation very, very soon. So I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Have a good one.